And the first name I've, I've drawn is Representative David DeCote. <laughs> State Committee team, everyone doing, and then all of the RCCs, as I always make it a point to do, thank you, every one of you. I, I, am, uh, I always astound my colleagues by telling them in my district, which is now Hanson, Hanover, Norland, Rockland, I have three active, vibrant Republican Town Committees, which is essentially my campaign committee, and I am very, very grateful. Um, as many of you know, uh, I come to you as a, as a child of Norwell, K through 12, um, basically cut from the same cloth as most of you. 22 years in the Army after a five year stint at Northeastern. Northeastern's supposed to be five years though. <laughs> five year stint at Northeastern. Um, 22 years on active duty, seven years re re before that. And, um, I can do this kind of from the heart. I've got a script here, but it's kind of, this comes very easily to me. After returning home to my home and, and buying a property in Norwell and rebuilding it with my family, my father, uh, I became very frustrated with some of the local uh, goings on in Norwell. I, I ran for selectman, and we as a team beat a three-term incumbent selectman, and we beat them by about 25%. In 2014, again, with the Republican team behind us, this time in Norwell, Hanover, and Rockland, after a very close primary, uh, against the Valenzuela family, and they could not have been better. I'm probably the only Republican here that can tell you I benefited from the primaries because the Valenzuela family were just terrific. Turned right around on a dime and did everything they could do to elect a Republican state rep to the, to the 5th District Plymouth, first time since 1971. And we did that. And I'm very proud of it. We did it by 48 votes, but we did it. And I am very, very grateful. Um, on Beacon Hill and the eight towns that make up the Plymouth and Norfolk district, I have steadfastly refused to sell out my deeply held Reagan Republican values. I was an early supporter of all of when, when the primary was over, I was an early supporter and, and influencer to, for everyone to get behind not only President Trump, but the entire Republican ticket. Yeah. My lifetime fast fiscal rating is among the highest in the, in the state, and I hesitate, there might be one other person, but I am higher. My ACU rating, American Conservative Union, my liberal friends are always making fun of me, but uh, <laughs> up there, but uh, we, are, we are close to about as top as you can be. Um, my constituents know that they can fight, they can rely on me to fight for common sense conservative values. When virtually every one of my colleagues at the State House refused to get behind pieces of the Republican ticket, we in Plymouth County in the last election pulled together. I was the only state rep, the only one to drive to the convention and to support the drug deal. That was a quick three minutes. <laughs> and the bottom line is, the bottom line is I, I, we made it a point to work with the DA, with the sheriff, with Teddy, and with every other person in Plymouth County to work as a team. And we were the one shining light last election in an, otherwise, in an otherwise dismal performance. I will do that as your state rep, and if you want to know, as your state committeeman, and if you want to know what I'm going to do as a state committeeman, I'm going to do Peter Buckley, the Buckley plan, which is pull everyone together and work as a team. Thank you, and I ask you to vote for me. I'm resisting state law 
This conference is likely to be the only time town committee members will ever again in our lives have a chance to, to vote directly to elect a state committee member. This is an opportunity to choose a state committee man who actually will work directly with the town committees for their benefit. I first joined the Weymouth Republican Jeff, Town hold Committee. Hold it closer. Can't hear you. Yeah. I first joined the Weymouth Republican Town Committee in 1998 and soon realized that no one was getting more data from, from, the town, from the town clerk in order to reach out to Republicans to let them know we exist, to safeguard their interest. So I started doing it. My first visit to the town clerk's office was so terrible that I started researching our rights and authorities under state election law. Eventually, I identified 21 election laws which the founding fathers of Massachusetts gave our party absolutely equal authority over the entire election process for the sole purpose of safeguarding the interests of our party and its candidates for office during elections. There is no other reason written into state law for the existence of town committees. A few years ago, I provided this documentation of that authority to the Mesh GOP. It was asked to write a first draft of what turned out to be this manual. <laughs> contains those laws which I've highlighted to make it much easier to comprehend. I mean, really, it's the highlighting. It's like, you don't have to read the whole law. It's like, I, I put a lot of work to make them easier to read, and every town committee member should have a copy. Let's see. Uh, I, I highlighted the these the laws to make them much easier to comprehend. It also contains about a dozen additional pages to help our teachings understand their authority, rights, and responsibility as town committee members. I recently sent a copy to all your RTC chairs so that they can distribute this documentation to their own members. The single most important authority you have is to nominate Republicans for appointment to become registrars. <laughs> who are not only willing and able to do battle with the Democrat town clerks, which the majority of them are, but to do it during weekdays when the town clerk's office is open. <coughs> you, you nominate the registrars who work for a living, you can't get to the town clerk during the week when, when they can do battle with them to say, God, our interest, really. Who's, who's going to check signatures before election on, on ballot, on ballot applications? You really need registrars who will oversee that. Another important authority is to nominate Republicans for appointment to work in half the election officer positions at the polling places on election day. We are the only ones who can nominate Republicans. And if we nominate them, they are going to get placed at the polls. And we have the right to have up half the people at the polls. If you choose me to finish these, this state committee's term of office for the next year, I will spend that time helping you all and the Mass GOP to learn about and implement your authority, rights, and responsibilities that took me so many years to document. Thank you. Yeah. Six years ago, I announced my intention to run. 
Um, and my personal life too, I'm a member of the uh, Salt Shore Baptist Church in Hingham. I currently sit on the nominating committee. I see a few members of the church here tonight. Thank you for coming out. Um, so why am I running? I believe in the Republican Party in Massachusetts. I believe that we are not dead. I believe that we have a lot of potential to keep going forward. And I believe you all know the same thing too that we have it because we have good town committees and we are gonna keep, uh, keep our town committees vibrant. We're gonna keep reviving them and we're gonna keep going. However, the only problem is we're not winning as often as we used to. We're not as involved as we used to be. And it will take more than a band-aid to heal some of the problems that we have today. And probably a few election cycles. However, we do need to unify the party, and we need to unify the party now. And this includes a few hard pills to swallow, and something that we gotta stop doing because it's getting us nowhere. We have to stop bashing, we have to stop trashing, we have to stop infighting, we have to stop witch hunting, bad mouthing. We have to stop doing this to fellow Republicans because how are we gonna unite if we keep doing that? And we've seen where it gets us, it gets us nowhere. And if nobody else wants to stop, I will be my example. And we've all been guilty of that, myself included, but I'm willing to stop so we can get on the same page and we can work hard. A state committeeman, I'll be a liaison, a leader, and a listener, and most importantly, though, a listener. Because like you, and like every other registered Republican in Massachusetts, we're tired of where the party is going. We're tired of which direction it is, and quite frankly, people are moving. People are moving to Florida. And look at it, Florida did a big flip. We can't forget that, you know, we are Republicans first. We're not Amy Cannavale Republicans, we're not Jim Lyons Republicans, we're not Joe Brodsky Republicans, we're not even Paul Rotundo Republicans, and I went to bat for that guy. Uh, but we gotta remember that we are Republicans, not even Ronald McDaniel or Harmeet or Trump or DeSantis, we're Republicans. And as RTCs, we also need to promote and focus local. The only way we are gonna get ahead and really build our base is to grow the party locally. We have people on the planning board, the zoning board in Weymouth and community events committee. But anyway, I ask for your vote tonight. That was time. Um, thank you all for coming out and participating. In this talk. Moving forward. So now it is time to proceed to the vote. Everyone who is eligible to vote.